Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an animated split screen in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Creating an animated split screen is a great effect for marketing videos, product demonstrations, and more. Today, I'm going to walk you through each step so that you can create your own split screen animation in no time. Let's take a quick look at what I have here. So I have a white background, and then when I click play, a green one and a purple one come in, and then I have just some elements in Toonly. So what we're working on today is how do we make this green and purple movement? So here we go, bright green comes in, and then purple comes in. Now, if we look in the timeline, you will see that I have a solid background and that's my white. So if you come over here in backgrounds, under the Thule backgrounds, there is a solid background and that's what I used. And then come back up here and the first thing we see is this bright green shape and that is a green rectangle. And then it's immediately followed. It's short, right? It's got a keyframe, so there's some movement. It's immediately followed by a static bright green rectangle and then a moving purple rectangle and then a static purple rectangle. And then of course I have my elements. I have a little girl and some text. First thing you need to do is actually create some rectangles and import them into Toonly. Today, let's go to vector.com and we'll make some. Now this is a free online tool that you can make basic shapes with. You don't even need an account. So I'm gonna just go use online. Before I begin, I'm gonna click here, pages. And this is where I can give it a name and most importantly, set my dimensions. Let's make a blue rectangle. So I'm just gonna name it blue rectangle. And then right here, let's do 1920 on this side. Unclick this little lock, and then on this side, make it 1080. Now let's click on our shape tool. I want to zoom out so we can actually see our shape, okay? So right here is our blank 1920 by 1080 shape. Now let's click right here on a square. And we're just going to make a giant square is fine. If you'd like, you can do the same thing, 1920 by 1080 and this will fit perfectly in our canvas. I like this blue. If we want to use a different color blue, just click on this little circle icon and then you can adjust it and find the blue that you like. I kind of like that. So that's what I'm going to choose and it's done. So we just click here, export, and we want to make sure to choose PNG and it's 1920 by 1080 and that's fine. So we're going to click download and it's downloading it to my computer. Now we can use this same one. We're just gonna change the color. So just select it, click the little color fill button, and let's change it to orange. And that's fine. I wanna export it once again. And again, PNG. Now this time it's gonna still download it with the name blue rectangle, which is okay, because we can rename it, which I will do. And we're done here. So let's go back into Toonly. So here we are in Toonly and we just have a blank screen and it's just black. I want to zoom out a little and you notice it's still black. I don't know where the actual scene is here. So if I go over to backgrounds and I take this solid background, now I can see what we're working with. So here's my screen. Let's go to objects and let's upload those rectangles. Okay, here they are, blue and orange. So let's go ahead and place our blue one in first. And it's a little bit larger than my actual scene. So I'm gonna need to resize it. It's okay if it's if it overlaps, it's fine, but I want it to be somewhat sized. So that's where it's gonna end, right? Because I want it covering half of the scene. And then my orange is gonna come in over here and it's gonna cover the other half. Now, before I do my keyframes, I need to do a little work on this rectangle. So click settings, 
I'm turning bounce to instant on both the in and out. And then I want to duplicate it. So I'm going to go control C or command C and then control V or command V to paste. So now I have two. So I'm going to move my second one over. So this one's my finished one. It's already in place. It's already done this move. Now let's go back to our first one. And I want to click the first keyframe over here. And then I want to move this to that position where I want it to start. So I want to start off screen and then it's gonna end where it was previously. So if we hit play, there's the movement. And then I have this gap here where there's nothing. Do I like the speed of this? Is that fast enough? I think it is. We can make it faster. We make it a half second move by shrinking this. Okay, so it's nice and fast. And I like it that way. So now I just take my blue rectangle and I position it here so that the static one comes in as soon as this one makes its move. And we want to make sure that there's no light gap in between. And that's, that's perfectly fine. So now if I hit play, it comes on and it stays on. It sticks. And that's good. So let's do our orange one now. So we bring the orange one in. And again, it's a little oversized. So we're just going to shrink it down and position it. And again, a little overlap spine. And this is where we want it to end. The gear turned instant and instant. And then remember, we want to duplicate it before we do the movement. Control C, Command C, and then Control V or Command V to paste. And then let's move one over, click our first keyframe, and we want to tell it where, what position is it going to be in? Well, we'll probably want it to come in the same way that the other one did. We could also have it move up if we wanted. For fun, let's, let's just see what that looks like. And it would be like that. That would be kind of cool. Now, of course, I have this white showing, and that's just because my rectangle didn't last long enough. So let's do that. So let's see what we're looking at here. Boom and boom. Once you're happy with the positioning, you can go ahead and go back to full screen and you get a better idea of what that's gonna look like. Let's make this white disappear so that it just ends with the orange. Now, we can play with this. We can maybe have it come in at the same time as the green one, or blue one, I'm sorry, blue one. So let's see what that looks like. And that's very cool as well. You could get rid of the white altogether if you'd like. And that looks equally cool. So now that you have your split screen, you could add some objects. So we're just gonna pretend that we're doing a comparison of two products. So I'm just gonna upload some products. And I'm gonna turn that out to instant. This the same. And let's take a quick look. And there you have it. That's how you can make an animated split screen in Toonly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.